a company needs the following workforce in various ways. So somebody has analyzed, have looked at the needs of the company, and the guy tells you that in these, on these days, uh, and the days are fixed, they are always Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so somebody has analyzed that the demand in the company is two, three, four, two, four, five, and four. Now, there are a bunch of assumptions that we uh, follow to basically a schedule and hire employees and a schedule them. So the first question is how many employees will we hire? The second question is when do we schedule them to work? And the algorithm that you learn in this chapter is based on some assumptions. Notice that uh, in real life, the assumptions can be different, but you, you can imagine how you can develop a similar methodology to answer it, okay? I write the assumptions here so you don't forget, okay? Assumptions are that we only hire full-time employees. Some people who are absent right now, they will not get the point that we don't hire part-time people. So even if we need, if we don't need someone, if we hire a person, that person needs to work five days a week. So all of the employees are hired full-time. The other is that our goal is to maximize efficiency. That is our first priority. The second priority is that we want to give employees back to back off days. And the other priority is that people prefer to have Saturday plus Sunday, uh, not plus Sunday, so others, they want to have weekend. Weekend is more preferable. Weekend is... Is that off or working? Uh, preferred for off days, yes. Preferred off day yeah from the point of view of the employees so of course we will consider the efficiency of the company first but uh, if we can we will give them the two days on saturday sunday okay but it is not required by the law or something like that however being back to back is required by the law So the algorithm is like this. And I suggest, again, I show you a visual form. If you read the book that you'll see, you can go through a lot of formulas by life, but life doesn't have to be difficult, okay? This is the way that we work on. Uh, the first employee that we want to hire, so let's call that one uh, employee one, okay? What we will do, is that we will circle those days that the, they have the least demand because we are searching what would be the off day of that first employee. Of course, we need a first employee. There is so much work to be done. So this is what we do. This and this. Okay, unfortunately, this doesn't give me two back-to-back -back off days. So now I circle the second least demanding days three. Do I have enough off days, back-to-back -back consecutive days? Yes. Yep. That is required by law? Yes. So for the first employee that I schedule, 
this would be his off days and this would be his working day. The first employee will work on those five days. Then I will calculate the remainder of the demand. Of course, we still need two people for Monday, three people for Tuesday. Uh, how many people for Wednesday? Uh, what is the, so basically it is the need or demand for work. Uh, how many more people do we need? Three. Very good. Right? Yeah. Okay. So now we follow the methodology again. This is the least demanding day. I circle that. That doesn't give me two consecutive days. I circle this. Doesn't give me two consecutive days. Then the least demanding day are those days that we need three. Do I have two consecutive days? Yes. Yeah, okay. So now we have two consecutive days. Which one do we choose? Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, look at, you have to minimize the demand. You have to give them the days that have the minimum. Now, now that we have a lot of options, I just show you the options. This is an option. This are consecutive days, an option. This two are an option. <laughs> we have a lot of options. So now that we have a lot of options, also notice that I draw your attention. There is, these two are also consecutive. Be very careful. And our goal is to minimize the demand. So which one would be the off days that have the least amount of demand? Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the real options that we have are these two. Either this or this. And you are free to choose uh, any of them. In real life, the software simulator would try both and would you know, make sure that it will give the best efficiency at the end, but you are not responsible for that. So in the exam, if this happens, you would choose either. So which one do you want to give the, the off day? Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. Okay, so we will give Wednesday, Thursday as off days, and we will schedule the employee number two on the rest of days. Notice that he should work in all of the days, regardless of the demand, so it's full time. Now we will calculate the need, the remaining need. Uh, on Monday, how many more people do we need? One. one. Very good. Two, two three, three, one. Two. And then three. Good. And then we follow the algorithm again for employee number three, uh, we are scheduling. So we go, f we focus on the least demand days to give off, and, uh, not give, doesn't give us two consecutive days. Then the second least demanding days are these, and we want to minimize the demand what would be the best option? Thursday, Friday. Oh. Um, so it seems that all of them like give us a demand of three. Look at this. This gives us a demand of three. This gives us a demand of three. Sunday and Monday as well. Yeah. Also, the best one would be Sunday and Monday, which will satisfy more conditions. Why would um, that be the best one? Because uh, the, there is a criteria that says weekend is preferred for off day. Okay, valid. I see. Yeah. So now we will schedule this day and this day as off day. 
and the employee will be scheduled this way. Now we will calculate the need. Um, still we need one person here. Right? So do we need uh, more? Of course. Be, so would it Sunday be more? Off, please? Uh, repeat your question. Wouldn't Sunday be more? Uh, two of you are talking at the same time. I cannot hear you. So maybe one of you first and then the second one. Wouldn't Sunday be one? Uh, no, we didn't schedule anybody on Sunday because it wasn't a uh, big demand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the second question, please. Can you go off a bit, please? Thank you. Amir, why did we go down from, why is one zero then? If those are the two off. Because the, this one on Thursday? The middle one. The middle one. This you one? It. No, the, the zero. Yeah, I crossed out. This one? Oh, no, I got it. Okay, cool. I got it. Yeah. Demand was one. Mm -hmm. uh, employee is working. An employee is working at that time. So we mm -hmm. don't need anyone anymore. So now uh, the need is clear. We follow the algorithm. The minimum demand is this. Doesn't give us two consecutive days. The next minimum demand is this. And it, you know, we have only one option. The minimum combined demand. Thursday and Friday. Exactly. So for employee four, these are the off days and he must work on these days. Now we calculate the need. Zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, one. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. And we still have to hire another employee. And so we follow the algorithm. We circle the minimum demand days. Does it give us two consecutive days? Yes. Lovely. Yes. Life is easy. These are the off days. And the fifth employee works on these days. The need. So the fifth employee will work on Thursdays, even though they only need two people. So she'll be there. He or she will be there for three. Which which employee? So the fifth employee will be working on Thursdays, even though they only need two. Uh, there is no the on Thursdays. Uh, the need is one. Oh, the need is zero. Yeah, but they always have to work full time, right? Yes. So they just have one extra worker on. Yeah, because even though the need is zero, but we have to schedule the employee because these are only full-time employees. Okay, thank you. And now the remainder of the demand would be zero, 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 zero. end of algorithm. And notice that uh, someone yeah, you notice that the the maximum demand was five, and we actually hired five people. But sometimes it happens that you know the maximum demand is five, and you have to hire six people because our other criteria, the work law, the preferences, the fact that you have to give two consecutive days. In some situations, it may lead to the fact that you. The, you know, the maximum number of employees that you need is five, but you have to hire six people to satisfy all of the criteria. In this case, that was simple and easy, and we just hired the fifth employee, satisfied everything. Now, you will get, Mayor, like, it, it, yes. Um, are we always going to have the same criteria every time we do this, like even on the exam? Or yeah, this is, yes, yes, yes. 
in real life, you may have other criteria, but um, um, in the course and in the exam questions, you assume these criteria. Okay, thank One, you. One, two, three, four criteria, okay? Uh, so if for every employee that you schedule properly, you will get a mark. And the next thing that we have to do is that we have to calculate the efficiency. To calculate the efficiency, we have to find out how many people are working every day. So I zoom out so we can see that together. And we see um, how many people are working every day. So on Monday, how many people are working? Uh, how about I use Two the, are working on Monday. Uh, let me um, highlight it with um, purple color, okay? No, purple is too harsh. Blue, okay? So on Monday, one person, two people, right? So on Mondays, two people are working. On Tuesdays, one, two, three people are working. So can you tell me for each day, how many people are working for on Wednesdays? Three, four. Uh, how many people are working on Wednesdays? Four. 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 How many people are working on Thursdays? Three. three. Very good. Uh, Fridays? Four. Uh, Saturday? Five. Five. And uh, Sunday? Four. Four. Yes. And the next step is to calculate the utilization. Notice that utilization should be less than one. You cannot utilize you know, a number bigger than one. The denominator is the resources that you have. So how many people we have and how many people we needed? We needed two and we have two. The utilization is 100%. Tuesday, 100%. Wednesday, 100%. Thursday, you use your calculator and tell me. We hired three people, but we needed two people. 66. Very good. 60%. 66%. On Friday, 100%. 100%. On Saturday, 100%. And on Sunday? 100%. So not bad. Very efficient. It just, this example shows you that this algorithm actually leads to very efficient scheduling of the employees. In real life, you don't want your employees to be 100% working, you know, because you need some safety capacity for your capacity to process the demand. So you either, um, you know, you, we have to assume that our safety capacity is included in the initial demand. So we hope that the person who thought about the initial demand has considered the safety capacity. Because if the real demand is two and you have only two people, then you are susceptible to fluctuations of the demand. 